Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. There was a Bitcoin whale alert. All right, so that doesn't work very well. It's my bad attempt. Um, the Bitcoin whale alert is someone transferred 47000 835 Bitcoin, which was worth $417 million. Would you talk about a massive transfer of wealth? Now, the real question is, why? What's the motivation? What are they planning on doing? What's the purpose for it? We're going to dig into this as deep as we have information, but one of the reasons why I want to bring this up is, hey, if you hear anything about this Bitcoin whale alert or what might be happening with this Bitcoin, we would sure love to know here at, Bit at, at Luminate. Um, so please let us know if you know, if you hear or know of anything. We would love to hear about it. Leave us comments or you can always direct message us. So today in today's news, we're going to talk about new users are flooding into Bitcoin. Will this catalyze a move past $10,000 per Bitcoin? Crypto is at a critical turning point. Three factors why bulls will hold strong. And then finally, we'll look at a few more details about this massive transfer. 47,835 Bitcoin worth $417 million. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profit and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithms. They really uh, promote videos that are getting lots of likes and we really appreciate it. We need all the help that we can get. So I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss. Definitely read the rest of this disclaimer before you make any investments in cryptocurrency. You want to understand the kinds of risks that you are taking. But on the flip side, they do have a significant potential. So, and that is my opinion. That's not financial advice. The first thing we want to look at is new users are flooding into Bitcoin. Will this catalyze a move past $10,000? Recent comments from the CEO of Binance seems to indicate that the cryptocurrency exchange is seeing a massive influx of new platform registrants. He also notes that the activity level of these registrants is much higher than seen several months ago. This could be an early sign of an imminent wave of new retail adopters, the same ones who drove Bitcoin's price from uh, up to the last all-time high of $20,000 in late 2017. From a technical perspective, there's still significant work to be done until the crypto is poised to see another major rally. So Bitcoin having as directed a spotlight onto the benchmark cryptocurrency with the event garnering widespread coverage that has reached far beyond just the crypto industry. And so because of the happening, a lot of people have been talking about it. There has been a huge amount of, of interest on Google Trends. It's been one of the highest trending topics. When it comes to Bitcoin having or just Bitcoin in general, we've seen a dramatic spike. Um, and with, with search terms like buying Bitcoin or how do I buy Bitcoin, those sorts of things are starting to spike on Google as well. And so the interest is on the rise as people are getting, uh, more and more people are getting involved into cryptocurrency in some cases for the very first time. News regarding this event has been coupled with the extensive reporting on the comments made by macro investing legend Paul Tudor Jones regarding Bitcoin. 
In the eyes of many investors, his comments have legitimized Bitcoin as an investment vehicle. Now, this article doesn't get into what Paul Tudor Jones uh, talked about. Um, I had not heard of Paul Tudor Jones prior to a couple of days ago when I started seeing news articles about him uh, at being a billionaire investor and his comments about cryptocurrency and how he's taking his personal hedge funds and putting 2% of that hedge fund money into cryptocurrency. And, and we're talking about billion dollar hedge funds. And so he's putting a dramatic amount into cryptocurrency. And if you understand the way billionaires think, they're not going to publicize what they're doing until they've after they've already done it. And so in most likelihood, he's already made a significant investment into Bitcoin and into various crypto assets. And then he announces it because he knows that the news will have a tendency to drive up the price. And so um, I listened to a number of different people that I had some respect for in the investment industry, and they were raving about this news about Paul Tudor Jones and how he really has a lot of influence in the investment industry, um, and that because he has invested 2% of his wealth into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, that, that that particular person believes that a whole lot of other institutions, billionaires, family funds, hedge funds, etc., will pay attention and actually start moving wealth because they saw him doing it first. Um, and so, you know, when, when people gain more and more confidence in something, especially when they hear somebody that they have a lot of respect for, uh, investing in something, it gets their attention and many times people will make such investments, not because it was financial advice, but because they respected the person that they were hearing it from. And so this could have uh, a, a significant effect on the price of Bitcoin as people are purchasing it. And this could be something that has kind of a, a more of a long-term uh, impact because you know, if an institution is going to buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, they're going to do it in smaller chunks over a longer period of time because they don't want to do it all at once and force the price of Bitcoin to go way up. They'll, they'll do a little bit, watch it go up, and then come back down. And once it comes back down, they'll buy a little bit more, which forces the price up. And then they'll wait for it to kind of come down and then they'll buy more. And so... You know, one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so volatile is because of uh, whales and larger institutions working the system in order to try and get the lowest possible prices as they're moving large amounts of, of funds into cryptocurrency. So it appears that traditional investors have taken notice of these developments as the Binance CEO is now noting that new registrant activity is surging towards its all-time highs. Now, I don't know that retail investors are, are making decisions because of Paul Tudor Jones. Um, and if I'm butchering his name, please forgive me. I, I think that's the correct way to say it. If it's not, uh, please direct me to something that'll help me uh, pronounce his name correctly. Um, in the meantime, let me know what you think. Do you think retail investors are going to be getting onto Binance and setting up Binance accounts and purchasing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency um, because of Mr. Jones, because of this investor, uh, billionaire investor, leg investing legend and his comments about Bitcoin and what he's doing with his own personal wealth. I would love to hear what you think about that. Here's a couple of more quotes. This one, the first two or these two, yeah, j just those two, are made by uh, the CEO, founder of Binance, uh, Shank, uh, again, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, he is the CEO and founder of, of uh, Binance. So the new user registrations are picking up very aggressively, like getting close to the sort of users generated before 2018. And so he's talking about the number of people that were jumping onto Binance just before Bitcoin hit that all-time high of $20,000 per Bitcoin. 
The activity level is definitely much higher than even three or four months ago, he stated. And so with this flood of activity, um, if it continues, and I believe that it will, I think we're going to see a fantastic year. I think you know, a number of people have been talking about, and this is my, my opinion, this is not financial advice, um, but I've heard a number of people talking about how 2020 will be the year of Bitcoin and the year of cryptocurrency, and it's beginning to look like that might have some weight to it. So crypto is at a critical turning point. Three factors why the bulls will hold strong. So I'm going to just jump to the three factors and we're going to talk about them briefly. So the first factor we've kind of already talked about, the aggregate count of Bitcoin addresses has increased by 234%. So this goes hand in hand with what the Binance CEO was saying as far as him seeing a, a significant influx of new customers uh, creating accounts on the Binance platform that also leads to a significant increase in people creating BTC addresses. Now, I know, I know, I know. If they're putting their money on Binance and they never take their money out, that doesn't actually create a BTC address. But the reason why I say that that goes hand in hand with this is because when people are jumping on board of Binance, many of them are jumping on board in other ways. Um, and so Binance is just a reflection of a small portion of the market, or maybe I should say that a little bit better, a, a significant portion of the market, but it doesn't reflect 100% of the market. And so I would expect that if Binance is seeing a significant influx of new investors, that we would also see an, a, a dramatic increase in Bitcoin addresses um, because some of those people will be taking their money off of that and putting it into other wallets, thus creating a new Bitcoin address. The other thing is Bitcoin's daily active address account, which many say is one of the best metrics to determine the usage of blockchain, is up by 59%. And so people are actually using the money or using the cryptocurrency that they're st storing in their Bitcoin wallets. And that is a good sign. The hash rate of the Bitcoin network, the amount of computational power used to process blocks, is up 6,837%. This signals strong support for cryptocurrency miners about long-term future of the network. Now, this one shocked me quite a bit. I did not expect that that was actually a 6,837% increase. Um, that is very significant, especially as we had approached the halving, the halving because people knew as they were investing in these miners, uh, if you're investing in a quality Bitcoin miner, you're going to spend 2,000, 3,000, possibly more per machine to do Bitcoin mining. And people aren't going to make those kinds of investments unless they're really confident that they're A, gonna get a good return on spending that amount of money on a Bitcoin mining machine, and B, that it has long-term potential. And so even though they knew that at, at, on you know a couple of days ago, on May 11th, that the rewards would be cut by 50%, they still chose to buy those machines, plug them in, and begin using them, which increased the total hash rate of the network by 6,837 percent. I mean, that's that's what's like like increasing the number of machines on the Bitcoin network by 68 fold. Um, now I know that some machines are more efficient than other machines, um, but still, I mean, that's uh, just a that's a very dramatic increase in hash rate um, over this period of time. So let's move on to the last bit of news we've got. Massive 417 million Bitcoin transfer triggers cryptocurrency whale alert. Now, one of the things that I like to do is pay attention to when the whales are doing things because when whales, when people who have large amounts of Bitcoin 
are doing things with their Bitcoin, it will have a tendency to affect the price and it ref reflects what's going on in the future. Unfortunately, this article didn't provide a whole lot of information. I'll give you all the information the article contains, as well as a link to this article. As always, we provide links to all of the articles that we share in our news. Um, so let's get into it. A huge Bitcoin BTC transfers turning heads in the crypto community. One of the largest whales on the ledger just received 47,835 Bitcoin worth $417 million for a fee of just $1.44. Now, where in the world could you transfer $417 million from point A to point B and pay a buck 44 in order to do that? That's amazing. But that's the power of Bitcoin. Now the transaction was spotted, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. The transaction was spotted by the Bitcoin block bot, an on-chain whale tracker designed to identify large movements of cryptocurrency. The Bitcoin address that received the huge trove of crypto is the 16th largest address in existence at the time of publishing according to BitInfo charts. The wallet is highly active and has sent and received large batches of cryptocurrency for months. This could indicate a cryptocurrency exchange owns or an institutional custody service owns that wallet. And, and to be honest with you, I think that's the most likely situation that this wallet or this address is either owned by some sort of an exchange or some sort of institutional custody service. Who knows, maybe we just found one of the addresses that's owned by um, BACT, B-A-K-K-T, uh, the uh, Bitcoin exchange that was created by um, uh, the owners of the New York Stock Exchange, Microsoft and Starbucks, all three of them teamed up to create the BACT exchange. And so maybe this, this address is connected to them or connected to one of a handful of either exchanges or institutions uh, that are handling large volumes of cryptocurrency. Although there has been speculation that the address is so associated with the Seattle-based crypto exchange Bitrix, the owner of the wallet has not been confirmed. And so if you find out any more information on this, I would sure love to know. I hope you'll, you'll share it on the... Uh, uh, YouTube comments below. In the meantime, do me a favor. How can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments on what we talked about today? Do you disagree with anything that I said? Hey, look, you know things I don't know. I know things you don't know. And when we share what we know with each other, we're going to grow smarter together. I want to grow smarter together with you. So I hope you'll share your polite disagreements in the comment section below. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.